So um, this is the masculine side, feminine, the combined energies or outcome with the masculine brings and what the feminine brings. So I was in the middle of talking about this one and I had already gone over the other three, but I did start with the masculine over here with the two of pentacles in reverse for his central energy for the month of April is feeling a little worn down and tired and not wanting to put the effort in of holding all of his balls up in the air. I was getting an image of a juggler in a circus um, and just stepping away from all the balls that he, he had been so diligently keeping afloat um, and just sort of stepping back and letting them <laughs> fall where they may and not trying to grasp or catch them out of this, um, this efforting or this desire to keep it all together anymore. I feel like his defenses are coming down and he's not wanting to create any sort of false stories or hide behind this mask in the month of April. And in his subconscious, he has the Wheel of Fortune. And this is a great thing. This is a major arcana energy. And I was getting that the wheel is turning in his favor when it's upright. And he feels that he can release his defenses um, in a way that feels vulnerable, but also like safe too, because that's where... He knows that he needs to go in his life in order to make things work out. Like he's just being his complete, upfront, honest self in all areas of his life. Um, he doesn't necessarily feel like he has a choice in the matter. It's just, it's just what feels good to the masculine right now in his behavior and his actions. So... Over here, the lovers, it's like in his honesty, I feel like the feminine and the feminine could be dealing with a Gemini um, that this is new for her to receive this information in this way from the masculine. And he may not even be directly communicating right now, but it's something that she's picking up on intuitively. Um, that he is going through this process and she's not quite sure where that leaves her in regards to the masculine with the lover's card in reverse. However, if she's not in direct communication with him, I feel like she's coming to a place of dropping the inner dialogue, the inner the inner tension of whether or not it's correct or right or the thing to do to reach out to the masculine when she hasn't heard from him. Um, and she's letting go of that inner tension because when this card is upside down, this woman is able to release the swords and they sort of float up. It's like she's releasing them to the heavens. She's releasing them to a higher power. And then so she's free. Her hands are then free to take off this blindfold and see the situation um, for what it is. And I feel like this is a process that's going to be ongoing through into the, the center part of the month, the middle of the month, feminine for you. Um, let's see what's in her conscious is a rest in his conscious is the higher font. I knew that card was going to come out. I, it flipped out when I was shuffling initially. So let's talk about the feminine conscious first. It's like she's able by putting these this internal dialogue sort of monkey mind of trying trying to make a decision or trying to force a decision and that confusion 
I feel like there is a respite from that inner turmoil for her over this energy of the lovers in reverse, feminine. And that feels good. I feel that the feminine is allowing herself some space in the month of April, and that's precisely what is needed. Um, while the masculine has these really big energies happening, these two major arcana cards with the Wheel of Fortune and now the Hierophant in his conscious mind of, I feel like he's relying on these, these traditional structures and maybe organizations or community groups to help him get through, like sort of going on automatic, like knowing that he's not having to reinvent the wheel and figure it out himself. Um, maybe he's getting back to a regular church that he once grew up in, or maybe he's joining, I don't know, like an organization like a men's group that he's going to find a lot of support with in the month of April. And it's going to feel really good for him to be able to not feel like he has to juggle all areas of life by himself. And he gets to employ these structures and systems. That's the word, these systems that somebody else has already figured out for him. And he's able to, insert these these very rational steps in his life of okay well this isn't working out so now I'm going to utilize this program or the system um, in any area of his life it could be all areas of his life um, if he is doing it with finances it could trickle over into how he's dealing with family relationships and personal relationships and love relationships um, in a way that feels very empowering to him and gives him a sense of calm. Um, and the feminine, you're realizing that you're, you're allowing him the space in order to do that, in order to undergo, undergo this process in his life. So let's see the outcome card. The Queen of Wands with the feminine. Yeah, okay, makes total sense. So I feel like these energies here are a response to another major arcana card for the masculine, this, this moon card, which would be in his everyday experience of not feeling quite sure what the right, right direction is to take towards the feminine. So I feel like he's retracting from this with the queen of wands in the middle and going and relying on these systems and structures in his life to put in place so that he feels more stable um, before reaching out to the feminine again. And that is giving her the space to be over here to take a rest, Libra. And to not push the agenda onto the masculine because it's not going to be, it's not going to get you what you want if it is a communication. But I feel like this rest for you here with the four of swords in your conscious mind is allowing you the space to undo some heartbreak and give your heart the balm that it's been requiring from, I don't even feel like this is from an immediate relationship, but some really old stuff that you're still carrying in your nervous system um, that may cause you to feel reactionary towards the behavior of the masculine when it actually has really nothing to do with you. And you're, this month in April, it's allowing you the space to, to undergo, I got a, like a cleansing process, like a washing and a wringing out of the heart 
so that it can feel more purified and light and free. Because right now the current energies um, for you guys through the month of April is the Queen of Wands in reverse. So I don't feel like it's, like if there is a connection, I feel like it's very cool. The passion is tamped down um, quite a lot. And I feel like that's appropriate, seeing what's going on for either of the individuals here. And that that's just what's needing to happen right now. Okay, let's go to an Archangel Michael card for your Oracle card for April by Doreen Virtue. Like to pull additional Oracle cards at the end. Just one. I usually pull just one. Sometimes two come up, but we'll see what you get. So let me know in the comment section below, Libra, the parts that were resonating for you. Um, love to hear from you guys i read those messages each and every one and sometimes i feel it um necessary to respond but sometimes i don't i just let it be all right this one you and your loved ones are safe it's very colorful it's one of the more colorful ones in her deck I'll read you the prayer. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. And you can name specific individuals or have them in your heart. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. I also want to read you what's in the book. You. Archangel Michael and other angels are protecting you and your loved ones, including your family and friends in heaven. This card is a sign that you can relax. Yes, relax, feminine. That's the relax card, taking a rest. Knowing that the Archangel is taking care of the details and safeguarding you and your loved ones in all ways. Possible specific meanings. Give worries and cares to God and the angels. Your financial needs are being taken care of. Your business is protected. It's safe to travel. A loved one in heaven is happy and sending you love. And remember that worries are a form of prayer, so only pray for that which you desire. Okay, Libra, 